Well, this is one of the most important moments of FC25 so far. For those of you who are unaware, I'm an ultimate team creator. So, we've got the FC25 foot deep dive. As always, if you enjoy what you see, hit the like, hit the sub. Comment down below what you're excited for from this deep dive. Now, I should warn you, my opinion is very nuanced. My opinion is very, like... I do have a strong opinion on things, and we're going to discuss it all. FCIQ, Rush, new, sta new stadium and match experience, cosmetic evolutions. So, already, we know that FCIQ has already been mentioned, so that is just nonsense. Rush has already been mentioned as well, so that is just a bit of nonsense, really. And then most of this is just... There's not a lot to sink your teeth into. There is some, which of course we've seen already which we already know. Rush, as we know, is 5v5. There are events where you will have requirements for such a thing, where you will... And I think you can play by yourself. You can play with other groups of people. You don't have to play, you know, you don't have to play with four other friends, but you get points for rewards and that sort of stuff. You do get, you know, you do get objectives as, as well and things like that. Again, we'll... And it's skill-based, which I have a problem with because it needs to be fun. It needs to be something that people can all play together and not feel afraid that they're going to have a lesser experience. So it does need to be open matchmaking, or it needs to be form-based. It needs to be as close to form-based as possible, not skill-based. I should not be punished for have playing with people that are better at the game than me, and vice versa. FCIQ we're not really going to touch on because as you know it is just already been discussed it's the new tactical system there are manager presets you can use the preset of your active manager and saved it to a slot and such and all and all that they can have tactical presets as well so yeah roles we've already discussed roles familiarity is very much the same as well at a position you know is is whatever as well Personalize and share is, is whatever as well. Formation and position changes. We don't really need to go through most of this. Again, this most of this is just nonsense. Marketing mumbo jumbo in an attempt to sell the game to their ideal fan base. I assume their ideal fan base is under the age of 18 at this point. Like the idea would be to get you hooked on these features and get you buying these features year on year on year. It's just not necessary. We don't need to know all of these. Cosmetic evolutions, again, it's nice that you can have a different card color, but it just doesn't really matter. And then evolve your favorite players more often. So for example, you will be able to evolve players up to the stat requirement. Like say, for example, you have a card that can only, I don't even know. It, it is confusing. Community improvements. Duplicate storage is nice. I do rate that. 100 untradeable items you'll be able to access and send from the companion app. Division rivals, weekly rewards and points. I'm glad that they've explained this because this was not very clear in all of the leaks that we'd seen. But I'm glad they've explained this. It is all in a single selection. Players were unsure about what to pick. But many pick the same one, so that's confusing. I really, really, really hope that it's good and it's worth it. Because people picked untradeables because it was double the rewards. I hope you've not just taken away untradeables and said you have to pick untradeable, but it's less. Checkpoints and relegation is, you know, it's a nice addition. But if people, you know, if people don't enjoy the division they're in and want an easier experience... They will just play in lower divisions, which of course will drag everybody down a bit. So there is something that's going to have to be done about it. And then legacy placement. It's not much. It doesn't feel like it's as necessary as it should be. I'm not suggesting people start an elite from week one. That'd be silly. But it is just, yeah, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, it may as well be Division 10. Like. I will be in Division 8 on both of my accounts, or Division 7 if I play on another account, but I'll be on Division 8 
on my main account, which is whatever. We'll have to see how the time comes. I'm still a bit nervous because obviously everyone's going to have their their bog standard teams to start with. But friendlies is now form based, which is welcome, unless of course you tank your record and you just you know you just lose a lot of matches, get easy wins. And then there's contract removal, which is a big one. That is that is important. I I rate that. So game settings. You can you can now change your settings without having to pause or leave ultimate team. Ah yes, because they really don't want you leaving ultimate team. And now you can check you can change between there's metric and imperial measurement changes. Yada yada yada. We'll see you on the pitch on September twenty seventh. That's wrong. It's actually September twentieth. Like you can play on September twentieth. But anyway. Not a lot to say, not a lot that's actually been discussed, and it hurts, because this is the one that people want the most. This is the one that everybody plays and everyone makes their money from over at EA, so it just makes a bit more sense to give us more. There is a month and a half until this game comes out. No one in their right mind really wants to hear about cosmetic evolutions. Like, we want to hear more tangible things. And I know they're saving it for their, their big blue collar events and such, but there just isn't enough of any substance to really, you know, get me excited for Ultimate Team. I will play it anyway, but I'm just not as excited as I would have been two or three years ago, because it's been the same game for the last two or three years. And it really sucks, but EA don't care. They never will. And that's all we can say about that. Make sure if you enjoyed this, you like, subscribe, you leave a comment, and I will catch you all in the next one.